Hi and welcome or welcome back to the books for everywhere. So today I am filming a very exciting one day vlog where I am going to Hay on Y with my lovely friend Amy. A little bit of a background on Hay on Y if you didn't know it's a little town in Wales known as Hay on Y or Hay um, if you want to shorten it. It's a market town in Powys so it's kind of mid border to England. It has 20 bookshops and is often known as the town of books or the National Book Town of Wales and is also the site of the annual Hay Festival which is one of the biggest literary festivals in the UK alongside I'd say Cheltenham Literary Festival and Edinburgh um, and it is yeah this, this little small town that's very famous for books has a lot of bookshops and is famous for the Hay Festival and the Hay Winter Festival of which I've been to both and I would love to go again this year if I possibly can. It runs for I think just over a week in May um, and it's just a lovely lovely time and yeah I absolutely love Hay and me and Amy have decided to go there for the day. Um, it is a bit of a drive away so we're basically just doing a bit of a road trip um, and going to Hay which is very exciting. Going to have a look around the bookshops no doubt go to a cafe and things like that and I thought I would take you along for the ride and show you the beautiful bookshops of Hay. So I hope you enjoy because we are going to go straight into clips here of the town and of the bookshops um, but it is an absolutely beautiful place with some lovely lovely bookshops as well so I hope you enjoy. <laughs> now the evening and yeah I had an absolutely lovely day in Hay. I hope you enjoyed the clips, um, it was really really lovely. We went to the Old Electric bookshop I think it's called for lunch, they have a really nice cafe that has some really good vegan and vegetarian options as well. It tends to be like the place I go in Hay now for food which is really nice and then we went to Richard Booth's bookshop I think it's called yeah Richard Booth's bookshop which is really really nice I actually I don't know how long it's been there because I don't remember it being there years ago but I actually found it last year when I went and it is beautiful in there it's really really nice also went to like a little kind of gift shop they sell clothes as well can't remember the name of that one also went to the Addy Man Annex although I didn't buy anything in there um but it's a lovely little shop to look around as well um not all of the shops were open today I mean it is a Sunday in the middle of winter so some of them were closed but yeah I did go to the Addy Man Annex and also which is next to or a few doors down from the little gift shop I was talking about and then finished off at the Hay Cinema Bookshop, which is a old cinema full of books, like full of books. You need a map to get around that place, but it is absolutely beautiful. But yeah, it was really nice to be back in Hay and have a wander around and go to a few shops. I did buy a couple of books, so I'm just going to talk you through the books that I bought and do a little haul. Um, and basically in this video here this has just been like a short one day vlog but I hope you've enjoyed a little tour of Hay um, and the beautiful places there. It is really really lovely and I would recommend it if you are in the UK to go for like a weekend or a day trip if you can. Um, I really like Hay Festival but I have actually been to Hay Winter Festival as well which I really liked. Hay Festival as I said earlier runs 
throughout about a week a week and a half in may and it is a massive literary festival but you do have to really get tickets for a lot of the events and it can sometimes be quite hard to get tickets or they do sell out whereas although hey winter festival is also like a ticketed thing it's a lot quieter it's usually in november i think they still run it i did go quite a few years ago now um but it is also ticketed but it's quite a lot smaller and more intimate and the events are run in like hotels and churches and things like that um so it is a lot smaller rather than having like the massive festival site and it is just nice to kind of see it like out of season but when there's still like an event going on as well and i do really like hay winter festival and hay festival i am hoping to go to hay this year because i haven't been in quite a few years but anyway just a few little things i bought i bought the murder of roger Ackroyd by agatha christie this is the part of the set that i collect which is on this fireplace here and i am only missing a couple because i have bought out a few recently um so i think it's this and maybe one other that i haven't bought yet but i thought i would may, may as well just pick this one up this one i bought from richard booth's bookshop and i also bought nothing seen and nothing spoken by nita tyndall while i was there as well this one is set in the it's set in berlin in 1938 so it's the summer before world war ii begins and it's following a girl called Charlotte Krauss who has this crush on her best friend and she ends up going to this jazz club with her jazz and swing club and she feels like anything might be possible. There's an oppressive shadow of the Nazi regime and returning to the club is a risk but Charlie does. Unable to resist the allure of sharing a secret with the girl she can't stop thinking about or the thrill of disobeying the party's rules. It begins to become a place where Charlie and her friends can find acceptance, freedom and camaraderie among other Others who are determined not to sit in the sidelines of history. Increasingly terrified by the tightening vise of Hitler's power, Charlie is drawn to the larger and larger acts of resistance. Even as her best friend, who is the daughter of a senior party officer, begins to pull away, but resisting the Nazis is a dangerous proposition and the war will test what Charlie is willing to risk at the expense of her family, her friends and the girl she loves. This is such a beautiful hardback as well and I've not seen it in the UK um, and my friend Sophie really recommended it so I decided to pick this one up as well. Um, please note both of these are HarperCollins books. I have quickly given them a mention and would like to support the authors as well but I am also going to leave information about the ongoing HarperCollins strike um, and how you can donate as well in the description below and please have a look at those details. I also purchased and this was from Hey Cinema Bookshop. You know you want this and this is by Kristin Rupanayan. I think I'm pronouncing that right. This one looks super interesting. This was actually in horror and it's a short story anthology about women taking revenge on men essentially. There's like a little quote at the top that says the truth was if a woman a woman bit a man in an office environment there would be a strong assumption that the man had done something to deserve it and that's what caught my attention. It says it's by the creator of Cat Person which is a fir the first short story to go viral this is, you know, you want this, a compulsive collection about sex, dating and modern life. These are the stories of women's lives now. They also happen to be horror stories. In some, women endure the horror, in others they inflict it. Here are women at work, at home, on dates and at doctors, with, at the doctors, with their families and with their friends. Here are women grappling with desire, punishment, guilt and anger. These are the stories that make you feel fascinated but repelled, scared but delighted, revolted but aroused. But yeah, this one sounds really interesting and it's also out of print, I think. So I thought I would just pick it up. Well, Amy was like, <laughs> she knew I wanted it. So she just got it off the shelf and put it in my hands. I was like, you should buy it. So I did. Um, and it sounds really, really interesting, but we'll see because it's not something I would usually go for. I also asked in the cinema bookshop if they had any postcards and I wanted a local one, but she was like, there is actually a box upstairs of like postcards for like 10p and they are ones that they've mainly found in books when their books have been donated. Had a look through and I actually found a lot of like old postcards of Kew Gardens, which I visited last year. And I really, really love these. They are really, really pretty. Not sure how old they are, but some of them say the postage stamps cost a shilling or half a shilling on the back. So they're evidently not on the ones upside down. They're evidently quite old now, but 
yeah they're really really pretty i really like them that one's also upside down <laughs> there we go so yeah i'm really glad i found those because i just think they're quite a cool thing to have and they could look really nice on a wall or like an art wall or a display so i picked those up as well oh i did buy something else actually i bought this which is actually like a pennant flag um i did see this last time i went to hay but it was quite expensive and these were from the shop that i was talking about which still doesn't say where from <laughs> where it was from so i'm not 100 percent sure what the shop was called but it was next to Addy man's annex bookshop and this one yeah I've, I've wanted it ever since I saw it last year, so I decided to buy it this time. And I think it will look really nice on a wall, so hopefully I can put it up at some point. But yeah, I did get that as well. <laughs> so that is everything that I got in hay and all my clips and stuff. I hope you've really enjoyed this video. I've had such a lovely day and thank you to Amy for such a lovely day as well. But I'm going to love you and leave you here at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you will come back for more videos in the future. I will see you in the next one. Bye.